something for you, Mr. Vaughan? Uh, just a drink. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Shocking. I think he got the point. Well, he certainly left with his tails between his legs. That gun looks more fitting for a woman. Do you know much about guns, Mr. Bond? No. I know a little about women. What are you doing here? Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. Who are you? My name is Pussy Galore. I must be dreaming. Hello. Aren't you in the wrong room, Mr. Bond? Not from where I'm standing. When did you say you had to leave? Immediately. Almost immediately. Hmm? Must we talk about him? No. I'd much rather dance. So would I. <laughs> Minnows pretending they're whales. Just like you on this island, Dr. No. How does it feel, old man? Old man. You okay, James? Where's your butler friend? Oh, he blew a fuse. Boy! Easier. <laughs> Perhaps you'd call one for me. Of course. Paul! Seems terribly difficult. No, it isn't, is it? No. Tell me the truth. Am I as exciting as all those Western girls? Well, once when I was with Anne in Tokyo, we had an interesting experience. Thank you, Miss Moneypenny. That's all, that's all. In Japan, men always come first. Women come second. I might just retire to here. Where the hell is White? I haven't found out yet. <laughs> Still haven't found out. World domination. Same old dream. Our asylums are full of people who think they're Napoleon or God. Woman. Yes. She's had her kicks. What happened? Where's Gosey? Playing this golden harp. What sharp little eyes you've got. Wait till you get to my teeth. Hi, I'm Plenty. But of course you are. Plenty are too. Named after your father, perhaps. What happened to Williamson? Williamson? Ah, oh, yes. He died rather suddenly, poor chap. Ah, so? From what? He fell into a pulverizer at the works. Do you mind if my friend sits this one out? She's just dead. They told me you were assassinated in Hong Kong. Yes, this is my second life. There is something I'd like you to get off your chest. Where is Ernst Stavro Blofeld? Speak up, darling. I can't hear you. Galimé, elam dana la jaxa. Elerum, 
die. She's saying that. Yes, I think I got it without the subtitles. <laughs> No well-dressed man should be without one. Yes, very practical. Now you're on this. I hope we're going to have some gratuitous sex and violence. I certainly hope so, too. Too many free radicals. That's your problem. Free radicals, sir? Yeah, they're toxins that destroy the body and the brain. Caused by eating too much red meat and white bread and too many dry martinis. Then I shall cut out the white bread, sir. I need a urine sample. If you could fill this beaker for me. From here? Do you lose as gracefully as you win? I wouldn't know. I've never lost. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. My name's Bond. James Bond. For the gentleman, vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. Touche. I'm now aiming precisely at your groin. So speak of her above hold your peace. Where's Peckish? Where's Peckish? Pyramids! Ah! What a helpful chap. Missed, Mr. Bond. Did I? You left this with Ferrara, I believe. <laughs> I must say, you become more beautiful every day. I am over here. Oh, of course you are. Mm. Such a delicate touch. Sheer magnetism, darling. How do you kill five hours in Rio if you don't sample? Why, I think you're wonderful, BB, but I don't think your Uncle Ari would approve. Him? He thinks I'm still a virgin. Yes, well, you get your clothes on, and I'll buy you an ice cream. <laughs> Fill her up, please. You do know what the Queen of Cups means in an upside-down position. A deceitful, perverse woman, a liar, a cheat, and I'd like some answers now. Please, uh, you don't understand, sir. They'll kill me if I do. And I'll kill you if you don't. Oh, you're hurting my arm. I'll break it unless you tell me where those bullets go. Oh, I can't. Try. They'll kill me. Who? See what you can do when you try? When one is in Egypt, one should delve deeply into its treasures. I am looking for Dr. Goodhead. You just found her. A woman? Call me James. It's five days to Alaska. Take a giant step for mankind. Where's Drax? Oh, he had to fly. It's a charming tune. Where's Kananga? Well, he always did have an inflated opinion of himself. Miss Anders, I didn't recognize you with the clothes on. Suggest the trade. The egg for your life. Well, I'd heard the price of eggs was going up, but isn't that a little high? Tom, what do you think you're doing? Keeping the British hand up, sir.
you. Bond, James Bond. Would you get me a medium dry vodka martini? What a Shaken, I... not stirred. Your orders were to kill that sniper. Stuff my orders. I only kill professionals. Go to no one end of a rifle from the other. Go ahead, tell him what you want. If he fires me, I'll thank him for it. Whoever she was must have scared the living daylights out of her. In my business, you prepare for the unexpected. And what business is that? I help people with problems. Problem solver. I'm more of a problem eliminator. I take it that this is not a social call, 007. Correct. You should have brought lilies. There's two million dollars in that suitcase. I'll split it with you. You earned it. You keep it, old buddy. Relax, Yogi. Our engineers have spent months perfecting this. How many times have you done this before? You're the first. Ah! Mind if I get my hands out of here? Yeah, do it slowly. Bon appétit. What happened? Salt corrosion. This is the property of Her Majesty's government. How did you get it? Piss off. That girl must be very talented. Uh, believe me, my interest in her is purely professional. I hope you don't snork, you. Are you all right? Switch the bloody machine off! I know a great restaurant in Karachi. They can just make dinner. I'll report in an hour. Won't you join me? Better make that too. My name's Bond. James Bond. Vodka martini. Shaken. It's not stirred. Wait! I'm just a professional doing a job. Me too. Well, the fun is about to come to a dead end. Who is the competition? Ah, an ex-KGB guy. Tough mother. Got a limp on his right leg. Name's Sukovsky. Valentin Dmitrovich Sukovsky? Yeah. You know him? I gave him the limp. Oh, money, Penny. Um, I'm just up here at Oxford, brushing up on a little Danish. Always wanted to have Christmas in Turkey. Is that a Christmas joke? For me? No. No. So isn't it time you unwrapped your present? Oh, I think so. Magnificent view. It is, isn't it? So, by what means shall we execute you, Commander Bond? What, no small talk? No chit-chat? That's the trouble with the world today. No one takes the time to do a really sinister interrogation anymore. It's a lost art. Remind her. Then pump her for information. You'll just have to decide how much pumping is needed, James. If only that were true of you and I, Money Penny. I could have given you the world. Huh. The world is not enough. Foolish sentiment. Family motto. I'm not that kind of masseuse. Uh, I'm not that kind of customer. No, no, no. No more foreplay. For England, James? No. for us, James. Let's stay undercover. You wouldn't kill me. It miss me. Yes. Die, Bond! I never miss. Oh, 
problem is frost. I'll show you your room. A palace of ice. You must feel right at home. Do you destroy every vehicle you get into? Standard operating procedure. Boys with toys. Hmm. <gasps> Now I know. Was it something I said? How about the words, I'll be right back? I see you handle your weapon well. I have been known to keep my tip up. You were pretty good with that hook. It comes from growing up in a rough neighborhood. Uh-huh. You were pretty good on the bike. Well, that comes from not growing up at all. <laughs> I always did enjoy a good squeeze. The name's Bond. James Bond. Dry martini. Oui, monsieur. Wait. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of Kina Lille. Shake it over rice and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. I need to know that I can trust you. And you don't? Well, it'd be a pretty cold bastard who didn't want revenge for the death of someone he loved. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to go chasing him. He's not important. And neither was she. I knew it was too early to promote you. Well, I understand double O's have a very short life expectancy. So your mistake will be short-lived. I've got the ledge down there. Would you mind? I think someone wants to kill you. That wasn't very nice. You were supposed to shoot her. Well, I missed. Mm, you like married women, don't you, James? That keeps things simple. <laughs> Mr. Bond, my name is Fields. I'm from the consulate. Well, of course you are. You're supposed to display some kind of judgment. I did. And I thought that one less bomb maker in the world would be a good thing. It makes me feel reborn. Maybe just being born. Wouldn't you be naked? Vespa. I do hope you gave your parents hell for that. How was your lamb? Skewered. I can't find the, um, the stationery. You come and help me look. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry? Sorry? Why don't you try putting that in a sentence? Like maybe, sorry Lashif's gonna win, continue funding terror and killing innocent people. That kind of sorry? You lost because of your ego. And that same ego can't take it. That's what this is about. All you're going to do now is lose more. Well then, you're an idiot. I'm sorry? I said you're a bloody idiot. Good. Then we'll know where he'll be. Do you want a clean kill or do you want to send a message? You and I had a mutual friend! Then you must be Mr. Bliss's replacement. Welcome, Mr. Beach. Was that barn? Uh, I'm a little confused. Well, we wouldn't want that, would we? They're not seriously going back there. I wouldn't dream of it. Well, I'm sorry. That last hand nearly killed me. Now the whole world's gonna know that you don't scratch your fucking balls. <laughs> I answered your questions. I told you what you wanted to know about Quantum. Yes, you did. And your friends would know that, so they're probably looking for you. But the good news is, you're in the middle of a desert. Here. I bet you make it 20 miles before you consider drinking that. Goodbye, Mr. Green. If you do need time, why should I need more time? Job's done. The bitch is dead. The Americans are going to be none too pleased about this. I promised them the chief, and they got the chief. They got his body. 
If they'd wanted his soul, they should have made a deal with a priest. They found Green dead in the middle of the Bolivian desert of all places. Two bullets in the back of his skull. They found motor oil in his stomach. Does that mean anything to you? Wish I could help. 